Aisha and Ben were located directly across the street from the main entrance to Waterbury Hospital. This apartment building and a two-family house behind it, a total loss. Demolition has begun. But as we told you at the top of the show, about a half an hour ago, a city source texted me to say a man who was unaccounted for, well, his body has now been discovered. At the corner of Collie and Robin Streets, residents of this 12-unit apartment building were sent scrambling just before 10 a.m. Monday. I was in my room, and I heard crackling sounds, and I looked, my window blew open, the fire almost hit me. That man rehabilitating from a traumatic brain injury. A member of his rehab team was in his apartment when the fire broke out. Only thing I could do is run and get my stab and say, yo, we got to get out of the house. She said, what's going on? It's a fire. Look. And then, boom, right through my kitchen. I can't thank him enough. He saved my life. That's Kenny Williams' therapist, who he rushed out of his apartment. I just heard a really loud boom. He came running to me and told me to just get out. And we ran as the flames were coming down the stairs. She said it was as if flames were chasing them. I'm able to go home to my son and my husband. If it wasn't for him, I would have been stuck in there. And a city source tells Fox 61 that just after 4 o'clock, the body of a 71-year-old male resident who lives on the third floor was discovered. But this man made it out of a third-floor window. There's a pole on the side of my building, so I grabbed it and I shimmied down a little bit. I got down to about the second floor and I jumped off. A source tells Fox 61 the fire may have been started while residents were working on a moped or a scooter on their apartment porch. Before the fire, I left out and I seen them messing around with the moped. But I didn't think nothing of it. I get a call that my house is on fire. She rushed back home because her three-year-old daughter was there with her cousin next door. They were able to get out. I'm hurt. I'm numb. No tears. I'm emotionless. 35 residents displaced from the large apartment building and the adjacent two-family house also a total loss. Now, uh, here, they're waiting to remove the body from the house. Uh, and once they do that, that's when the demolition of this property will commence. The two-family house behind it has already been leveled. By the way, Eversource says several hundred customers in the area of Waterbury Hospital have been without power all day due to the company shutting it off at the request of the fire department. We're live here in Waterbury. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.